the entertainer. He's in prison for fraud, went to prison before for fraud, got out, and he defrauded the work release program, bank fraud. And so now he is on social media acting for y'all help. He said, please call Angela the Warren. And he said, call uh, Marcia Jackson, Marcia Jackson, the regional director. He also said, let them know you are aware of what's going on and get you and you want him move immediately. When calling, include my name, Rodney Russell, my inmate number 31934034. Day three, this all comes from Shaky refusing a sexual relationship with his case manager, Charles Jones. And, it, and, and this is clearly retaliation for Shaky reporting this in other unfair treatment. Don't stop calling the numbers mentioned above. Day five. Um, Bearmont Camp Administrator Brown is purposely holding up Shaky's transfer paperwork to punish Shaky for reporting the inhumane treatment. Please keep calling. Thank you, Sip Nation. This person was a popular YouTuber, popular bingo person, wrote books, went to prison, etc. Did all of these things. And now he acted. First of all, he said they had no heat water and all of this. And this is sad. This is really sad to see him going through this, but he shouldn't be in prison. He was so addicted. This man was making bank from bingo. He was making bank from YouTube. He was getting clicks and views. He he of course he's a liar because he went to my show and not Storm and Roll show. He went to he he he's supposed to go on my show, but then Storm found out he was coming over here and I announced it, and then Storm got in his ear and got him over there. And now he in prison, right? Uh, for fraud. And so now he's asking for sympathy. Now he's asking for people to get him out, uh, to get him a transfer and all of this. But, bro, you, this is your second lengthy sentence in prison for you frauding the people. Like, I understand the first time, okay, you ain't learned your lesson. Did the same thing, ended right back into the system. And then now you want all oh, they feeding me, all oh, they ain't doing this. All oh, now you want us as your followers to call on your behalf. Now we did call and they did say they are transferring him, but they told me on the phone that it is a process to transfer him. That is 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 a process. So they are going to transfer him to another facility, uh, but it's a process. It could take a couple of weeks for a full transfer, all right, uh, to make sure that it's room at the other facility to transfer him. So, again, he did all of this rule riding. He want to rush it. We called, and I didn't even have to call. only reason why I called is because um, only reason why I called is because I have a good heart, and I, I called Storm and Storm hung up the phone. I said, Storm, are you going to call uh, for MC Shaky? He went on your show. He hung up the phone. He uh, he did say he's not going to do that. Uh, it's bad for his brand. And then he hung up. But here we are, the brother that you did not come on the show. The brother that you step aside and stepped on is talking about you right now. It's talking about you right now. The brother that you didn't come on the show, we still got your name ringing and helping you out. But you went to Storm. He ain't talking about it. 
He said we're talking to witches. But yet we talking about, he gonna talk about you after this episode because we calling them out. And this person is called MC Shaky. Type it in. He went to prison. He did prison stories. This brother was, he, he docks candy. He docks so many celebrities. He docks that lady Kiki Wyatt about PPP loan. He would dox these celebrities. And I personally believe that a celebrity tricked on him to the feds. Because he would dock. Now, why are you doing all that doxing when you commit all that fraud? He would dox people, post a private credit report day. He would find arrest records. He he docks the brat. Now he's somebody. BB Judy. He docks all these people. Now you in prison. Now you need our help. It did come on the Wiley show when you had all that clout. Didn't do that. Didn't come on the wild and show when you was popular. Now you in prison. Being somebody beep. And now you want us to call the number and get you a, 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 a transfer. Super said, you dox all these people. Now you want us to help you. Now you want our help. Got my producer sending me this story. You did all this. You didn't have to be in prison. You did it because of greed. Because of greed. Greed will get you every time. And so now we are bringing this story to you because I know a lot of my people forgot about MC Shaky. They did. They forgot about him. And now he's in prison. And many people said he should have stayed out of jail. He should have stayed out of jail. And I want to read what he did. Uh, a a parish assumption parish man attempted admitted to stealing more than two hundred and thirty uh, more than two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars from a bank account of a company that have been employing him through a work reentry program for people with past criminal convictions. Federal prosecutor said Rodney Russell, a.k.a. MC Shaky, the one you see in the back on the screen here, 40 of Belly Rose faces up to 30 years in federal prison and up to one million fine after pleading guilty to one count of bank fraud before. Uh, before. Hold on. Uh, bank fraud before the U.S. District Judge Greg uh, New Orleans on Tuesday. The company, which prosecutors did not name, but is based in New Orleans, provided uh, MC Shaky a salary, incentive payments for remaining employed, and rental assistance, prosecutors in the U.S. Attorney's Office in New Orleans said. Uh, MC Shaky has been previously convicted in 2013 in a counterfeit check scheme, sentenced to five years in federal prison, later released on supervised probation with requirements to pay $60,000 in restitution. Under the latest plea, if said admitted to using a Chase Bank web portal and a mobile banking application to move money from the company's bank account to pay off debts on a Chase Bank card owned by uh, MC Shaky Company, MC Associates Management. 
uh, MC used his employer's Chase account to pay off MC Associate Chase bank card 18 times between April and June of 2018, totaling $213,372.05, according to the factual basis filed with his plea. The car has been used for personal expenses, including those made at Amazon, Costco, and Sam's Club. MC Shaky didn't have the authority to move the money from the operative account. Federal prosecutor added the work re- re-entry program operator discovered the illegal payments in 2019. MC and associate, which uh, MC Shaky did not tell his work re-entry operator he owned, were also leasing. Wow. Leasing MC Shaky his home and receiving the rental uh, payments from the work recent operator, the police said. So he was having a place that he owned and he was getting payments from the re- work release program. <laughs> this crap, you can't make it up. Uh, about a year after the illegal payments ended, the federal prosecutor garnished restoration at a barbecue restaurant because he had he had paid less than a thousand of the restaurants owed an earlier counterfeit check case filing show. But a judge later removed the garnishment in November 2019 after the prosecutor told the court uh, MC Shaggy was unemployed. In a, in a latest convention, uh, conviction, uh, MC Shaggy had earlier waived indictment and have been charged by prosecutor with a bill of information early in January, usually a, a signal in the federal system that a defendant is cooperating with prosecutors. Portions of uh, MC Shaggy's plea and statements he gave the prosecutor were filed under seal Tuesday. Under his plea deal with prosecutor, M. Shaggy must also surrender all illegal, uh, illegal obtained gains. His sentence is set for June fourteenth. And he was sentenced last year. He's in prison now. So it's just sad. That's the reason he should have known better. A true scammer would have been wouldn't have been so foolish. <laughs> Like, I couldn't believe it. You scamming the work release program? They say he was spending on people. He could have been spending on people. Do y'all know his ex-boyfriend? I want to interview his ex-boyfriend. Do y'all have his ex-boyfriend? I want to interview his ex-boyfriend. So I don't even know how long he, because it's under sealed. It's under sealed. How old is it? Where's his boyfriend? I want to talk to him. But he did that. All right. He did it. Under seal. <laughs> I want to talk to his boyfriend. Can y'all send me the information, please? Thank you so very much. Send it to my email, Wally at Wally Show at gmail.com. Send it to me. Send it to me. Yeah, send it to me. Yeah, 